my favorite street food, Playa del Carmen, right now, guys. They are amazing. Okay, we are just pulling up right now. It's right around the corner. I am so excited. So this is um, the spot that I literally come to every other night. I absolutely love them here and their food is delicious. So this is Antonio, he is the man. Hola. <laughs> I absolutely love them. So him and his wife um, run the place. This is something when I had sent that um, to my sisters, if you don't know we're Greek so they had said there's gyros there because that resembles um, you know what gyros uh, the spit that gyros are put on to and I was like no it's pastor which was super exciting um, when I saw that I felt a little at home a spot and I'm gonna call it my spot yes I'm calling it my spot um, this is also considered calle 14 which is 14th um, street but technically it's not um or it is but it's not um on the main like street where all the vendors are like a crazy amount of vendors are it's the street right next to it and it's right across the street from super aki and it's still 30th ave okay If you don't know, my foot is broken. So I live in this general region. This is considered centro or downtown. So, um, you know, I go to all these spots and they're close to where I am. Um, but each individual spot just has certain signature things that are great. This spot behind me, everything that I've eaten from here has been good. So there's not one signature thing, even though the burrito is what I always get when I come here. Like legit, every single time and never disappoints. And I will be getting that again today. Um, I'm so excited. The seats set up over here, but they get so busy guys that they actually have um, seats set up here as well. And there's so many people that come from town, you know, families, they get dressed up and they come sit down, grab a meal. So that's Gathi. And Jamie's right next to her. Antonio and Jamie are married, and Kathy's her sister who comes and helps. Jamie! <laughs> I love her. She's the best. So, here is all the condiments that they have. Um, and if you watched my other video that I made um, about the fish tacos, then this is the spot that I was talking about that some of the hot sauces you cannot even eat. Um, okay guys, if you really want to take yourself to another limit, uh, that one is absolutely insane. But let me tell you something, this one is called guacamole and it's supposed to be the least spicy. And I still cannot even eat it guys, it is so hot. Um, their pico de gallo, everything else, Jamie just makes it like volcano. I, I can't even get their hot sauces down, like at all. But the good thing is that, um, and this is why I, this is my favorite spot. Their meat, the way they season it, the way they cook it is so tasty that you do not even need really any of the hot sauces or the condiments um, on their food because it is just seasoned so good. Okay, so dame un um, burrito mixto <laughs> con, con todo y si pone uh, cebolla cocina también. Gracias. So if you're wondering what that huge thing pile over there is, um, this is what they call tripa, but I'm pretty sure it's intestines, guys. And then they also have um, pit, uh, like cow's head that they serve here as well. Um, but those are delicacies here. So, um, you know, that's really eaten a lot by a lot of the locals is, you know, a lot of the um, animal parts. So they call them tripa, but from what I could tell, it's the intestines, but they also have like cow tongue. Um, and the suadero is basically like the cow head, but it's more like the cheeks, which um, 
you know, if you know anything about like, I don't know, specialty foods or I don't know really how to call it, but the cheek is actually one of like the softest parts of um, like the meat. They actually let me taste it last time I was here. Wasn't bad. I don't think I could make a whole dinner out of it. The intestines, I don't think I would be able to get down, honestly. Um, but I do eat like other parts of the animals, so maybe I wouldn't be necessarily like a hard no. God, guys, look at that. Give me that from Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, guys, so this is my favorite drink. It's Jamaica um, juice. So when I first saw this, I'm like, oh, it's cranberry juice. And then when I tasted it, I'm like, definitely cranberry juice. So I had asked someone, I was like, oh, how do you say cranberries in Spanish? And they said something totally different. I'm like, no, it's Jamaica. They're like, no, it's not. And yes, it is. Uh, and they're like, no, it's really not. So Jamaica is actually um, a Mexican flower. And what they do with this flower is that they steep it, you know, just like how you would tea and they steep the flour and then they get um, the juice out of it. They probably mix this with like some sugar and stuff. Um, but it, it does have this similar taste of um, cranberry juice, but it comes from the flour. And this flour actually is super, super healthy for you. Um, it helps with like detoxing and water retention. And um, I absolutely love it. So every time I come here, this is literally what I get every single time. I get my burrito and I get my Jamaica. And it is my absolute favorite. So with my burrito, they do um, mixto here, which is what I get every single time. And basically mixto is like triple pork. <laughs> like there's, there's no other way to say that than just triple pork. So it is their pastor, which was that meat that was, um, you know, on the little swirly twirly thing. I don't know what it's called, the spit, I guess, or whatever. Then they put chorizo, they chop up the chorizo fine, and then they also mix it with their asada. So if you aren't familiar with any of my other videos, um, I explained what asada was. Asada is basically, they take like, you know, whole pieces of pork, they grill it, and then they chop it up um, very finely. Sometimes you can find asada de res, which is uh, beef, but 90% of the time when you say asada, it's always going to be pork. So um, my favorite here is the mixto and again it's just triple pork but it has every different type in there and the flavors are just crazy. If you're familiar with chorizo, chorizo has like kind of like a smoky flavor and then their pastor, they, um, they use like very different seasonings than other places. I feel like there's almost like a five spice in there. I had asked them one time, but unfortunately my Spanish is good, but it's not great. So I didn't understand every single ingredient, but I do taste some type of like clove or five spice just because a lot of Greek people cook with that. So that taste was familiar to me. And then, you know, the asada is just like that regular like grilled meat complete flavor bomb in your mouth my absolute favorite but they do mixto not even just in burritos and tacos also they have uh, something called gringas which is basically um you know what you would kind of take like a quesadilla to be in the states back at home where it's you know a tortilla stuff in the middle and then another tortilla on top flat i've had that too everything i get i just honestly get it with the mixto like I said, but there's tons of different options that you can get. And again, if you're risky, you could do the tripa. They have cabeza, which is the head, like I was telling you, um, tongue, and so many other things. Oh my God. So I, I had to give it, it's a lot of time of five minutes um, and it's still burning. It's so hot, but it's so good. So if you guys could see that, my favorite thing about this is that he, he like toasts the meat if that makes sense like he gets it like just super crispy and the reason i love this burrito is because it's actually very simple 
Um, if you know anything about Greek cuisine, it's very just simple flavors and you kind of let like the main ingredients shine. And that's what my favorite thing about um, this burrito is, is that it's all the different meats. There's some of that like delicious Mexican cheese. That's my favorite. And then just a little onion and cilantro. And that is it. Guys. It's so good. even though this is what I order. So what I do is I always get half here and half to go. Um, for video purposes, they put it all on a plate, but they know me so well that they always just give me half a burrito on a plate and then already uh, wrap up the other half. That's why I love them. They just, they're so thoughtful. They pay attention. Um, so this other half is going um, to go because I cannot eat all of it. And it will be like my lunch for tomorrow while I'm working, uh, you know, in the apartment. <laughs> you can see within just a few short minutes of getting my burrito that this is slowly filling up. Oye, puedes poner guacamole? Yay, my little remainder burrito to go. Gracias. 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 Okay, so I just paid 90 pesos, which is about $4.50 for my huge burrito and my Jamaica drink. And that is gonna be also um, my lunch for tomorrow. And again, this is why I just love the street food around here. Uh, it's just so affordable and it's delicious. Made right in front of you, it's fresh. So make sure you come check out Antonio and Jamie and Kathy. They are absolutely amazing. You are going to come on 14th Street, 30th Avenue, right across from Aki's. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.